See, it was dicks on toast. But, you know, don't mean you can't dance. Don't mean you can't enjoy the little things. That's worth celebrating. You found out about me, hey, that's worth celebrating. Ryan completed an Izanagi only run of Persona 4 Gold. Akira came out to their friends. Congratulations, Akira. Hippo, Hippo got a PS5. Hippo, where you live? For, for friendship purposes. I'm not gonna rob you. Oklahoma, hey, that's really close, Hippo. You might be seeing me soon with some black Air Force Ones on. Are those high top black forces? This nigga is crazy. You fucked up. Opinion on Fiji water? Fiji water's tough. That's some of the best water right there. I'm gonna say it like this. Water, in terms of how good it is, that Jaden Smith water is the best. Fiji. Aquafina's mid. Dasani's bottom tier. That black water. I don't know what that black water was. That's bottom tier too. Tap water is okay. Evian is... That's like that's like C or D. That's like mid, low mid. The Nestle water's elite too. That's B. That's B or A. There's one of them core. I think it's called core. That shit is gas. That's also S tier. That's elite. Gamer girl water. I heard it was making niggas sick, so I think I'm gonna have to pass on gamer girl bath water. Deer Park is straight ass. <laughs> I've never had Deer Park either. Yeah, Dasani's at the bottom. Dasani's the worst. I just rated all the waters. I don't miss. Water fountain mid. Hey, I'll say water fountain is mid unless you just got out of recess or practice. Then that shit is double, triple S, immaculate, juiciest water. The water fountain water after you get done running, that shit feels like you've never had water in your in your life. <laughs> you think you know water? Name all water. <laughs> oh yeah, you like water? Name name all their albums. <laughs> What about 3 a.m. water? Oh man, midnight water? Midnight water? Bro, midnight water? Midnight water is up here for me. LaCroix? Nikki, LaCroix? LaCroix? LaCroix tastes like if you took air particles and you shook them up real hard until they turn into and until they turn into water and you drank it. This on here, Dr. Pepper? Dasani, only barely. Dr. Pepper's a plague against mankind. Okay. <laughs> Somebody asked me, does being biracial is it as it asks? And sometimes it is, bro. Let me tell y'all a story. Some, how it sucks sometimes to be biracial, right? Being biracial isn't as cool as logic makes it out to be. I'm biracial. We could have a whole discussion about it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into how complex and how difficult it is to understand um, privilege versus, you know, how how rough things in the United States are, and then how history kind of conflates things. There's like a whole big thing about it that would that would take a very critical analysis and a high level of sophistication and and very simple like very open debate. Slide into Pokemon Twitter for the collab. Not yet. Soon. Soon. Can we get a Tev Corpse impression? Nah, my voice would go out. It's like, <laughs> I can't even do it. My voice is a little too high pitched. I thought I was in a corpse stream. That impression was crazy. Oh, you guys are so flattering. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sometimes I like to try. I like to try to do a British accent, but sometimes people say I'm good at it. Some people say I'm not so good at it. It really depends on the area. I really like Richard Ayoade's voice. The hello, I'm Richard Ayoade. Wherever, wherever they, where, wherever they're from, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm like good enough at impressions for some people to go like, oh, that kind of makes sense. Australia, all, I, all I know is that they say no, they go no. They say keen for everything. Oh, I'm keen. JFK impression. Ask not what you, no. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what your, but what you can do for your, fuck it. Where's Marilyn Monroe? Opinions on Keemstar? Keemstar fucking sucks. He needs to be off the internet. 
it has nothing to do with the videos he makes whether his content is good or not but his mentality towards people and how he uses them for entertainment is absolute dog shit you know what needs to happen to keemstar he needs to get his ass beat and that that, that might sound rude or like some people it's like violence is never the answer and stuff like that but some people need their ass beat sometimes all it takes is like one good punch to your chin to your chin send them to the ranch true because it, it gives you a lot of clarity i'll tell you that violence isn't the answer that's what i'm saying sometimes people say violence is the answer honestly sometimes it is violence should never be the first answer no it definitely shouldn't violence should never be the first answer never I have a lot of patience and most of the time I'll probably ignore you because I don't got to deal with you You could be talking to me in my face and I'll just turn around and walk away I don't, I don't, You know if I don't have to deal with you, I'm not gonna deal with you But if I have to deal with you and you won't listen to reason you won't listen to emotional empathy You can't be a, a, you know, you can't be a person that that responds to anything but a smack and smack in the back Get that ass banned Like low tier God keep that thing on me exactly i don't even kill spiders chat so you know if i'm telling you that somebody needs their ass beat they need their ass beat for real you're throwing too many three syllable words at, at me and because i don't understand them i'm gonna take them as disrespect i'm sorry comment i didn't know kevin hart was in the chat bro the ally should have vibe checked germany in like 1936 or whatever see you never know though you never know when people need their ass beat until it's too late that's a proverb right there that's some wise words remember that remember that sentence people never know when they need you never know when somebody needs their ass beat until it's too late because you never want to do it you know what i mean you never want to jump the gun and beat somebody's ass when they could change without it you know what i mean by emotional empathy you mean by the names of my fists <laughs> i got emotional and empathy right here I was in kindergarten and needed the shit. Unfortunately, I had a bad case of the poo <laughs> of the poo poos, <laughs> the BGs, and stayed there for longer. That wasn't the sad part. The fire alarm went off. That was such. You ever think about stuff like that, chat? Where it's like, what would happen if you were in an emergency, like your house was burning down, but you was shitting all over yourself? Would you just get up and shit just all over your body? and run out i mean you'd have to right you want to live so you got to go outside you just shitting and doodling all over yourself you boobling everyone's looking at you everyone else is safe <laughs> rather be dead than shitted just clench your ass bro sometimes you got the put sometimes you got the bg so seriously that clenching your butt ain't gonna do nothing but like squeeze that shit out harder <laughs> shove a door yeah you'd have to plug it up with <laughs> You had to plug up your bowl. <laughs> Ass clenchers only. <laughs> I ain't got the booty hole strength like that. Y'all be training your ass cheeks like that. There's no way you guys got the clinch that strong. It's not possible. One time when me and my cousins were little jits. Oh, you from Florida. We were in the car and some kid on a bike with a Darth Vader mask had a crazy fall. My cousin <laughs> laughed so hard he shit himself it was a two-hour ride damn why y'all just why y'all telling these stories <laughs> why are you guys unprovoked just telling you just unshit it takes years of experience for clenching your cheeks Gosh. <laughs> my ass fat from all from all my cheek clenching they hitting that Patrick workout routine. I got you. They're doing Kegels. Just say no and the poop doesn't come out. You know, I've never tried that. I'll try that. I'll be like, no! <laughs> Boondocks taught me how to protect my booty. This booty is mine. It belongs to me. You cannot have my booty. I already told y'all, chat, about my poop stories. I broke my friend's toilet. I don't think anybody's on that level yet. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta just stop. You guys gotta just stop telling stories, bro. <laughs> you broke your friend's toilet with shit too. Yeah, <laughs> me too, <laughs> bro. Every, there's like nineteen. <laughs> there's like nineteen stories of different people talking about shitting and pissing and throwing up on themselves.
It's too much. I literally, I scroll up and there's like a full fucking list of stories of people talking about, yeah, I was shitting and farting and... <laughs> I usually make these into YouTube videos. How on earth am I about to make this into a YouTube video? Everyone poops, Tevin. Not everyone talks about I was smearing shit in a little do. I don't think animated things are hot. It's just not, it's just not something I do. Cap, it's not cap. Then why are we here? <laughs> so you never want to smash anime bitches? No. No. Chat. I get IRL bitches. Yeah. Chat. Let me have, let, let's, let's do some real talk. Let's do some real talk. Stop the beat. Hey, DJ D-Ray, cut the beat. Cut the beat. Yeah. Chat. I'm a 25 year old grown man who has had the pleasure. I know I just said I, I don't look like Kelly Oubre, but I am still a six foot five half black kid. I've had the pleasure of, of getting IRL bitches a plenty. Some of them are hot. Like I'll be like, damn, that bitch is fine. Like, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, woo, woo. But in no realm of capacity would I be like, damn, this animated girl's pussy is on my brain right now. That's just not a lot. That's not logical. That's not a logical place I could go to in my head. Just like I see a girl on the street and I say, oh, that she's cute, she's good looking. But it's not automatically my little monkey brain, my little tiny monkey brain won't go fucking <laughs> Like it's not, that's not how it works. See, as a 23 year old man who is 5'2", my height makes it difficult for me to be built different like that. <laughs> Let's see your search history if you don't like hentai. I don't even watch porn on my computer. That's 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 true incel behavior. You got to do it on your phone like a real one. Let me find a picture of me that shows my height. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. At your bud, Tevin. Look at this picture, chat. Look at how these are one, two, three, four, five grown ass men. And look at where I'm at. What do you have to say to this? Look at the size difference. Hey, <laughs> on the step stoop. <laughs> Here's me with my family. Look at me sitting down. Look, this is me sitting down. How am I on my tippy toes? I don't have a booster seat. You know what it really is, chat? It's because my ass is so thick. I got that spectacular wagon. It's boosting me up in the air. I really got three feet of ass. <laughs> Kyle Lowry looks seven foot tall and seated. Y'all don't think I got ass? Come on now. You say prove it? <laughs> I'm not about to prove my ass size for y'all. I need at least 100 subs for that. 